What's up guys, Motoblade here today. We are back on board the Indian Chief Dark Horse. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of an update on my plans for upgrading this baby and what I'm gonna do to her in the coming weeks and all of the cool install videos you guys can look forward to. So stick around and I'll catch you after the intro. So I just came from the Indian dealership, heading home, past the Coast Guard base. Yeah, there's my guys, the Coasties. My dad was a Coast Guard, y'all. Those are my guys over there. But I just came from the Indian dealer and we had a little discussion about some things I can do to the bike. I talked to one of the awesome mechanics over there. He told me or confirmed, rather, some of my ideas that I thought I could do to the Chief, but was told by others it wasn't possible. So, I want to put the Chieftain, or Springfield, both of them have the same type of bag, I want to put those hard locking saddlebags that are found on the Chieftain and the Springfield on the Chief. But I've been told by others that the weight of the bags can't be supported by the normal uh, mounting points that I have on this bike. So I did a little more research and apparently the exhaust is what supports those saddlebags. The exhaust has brackets on top that go up and support those Chieftain and Springfield Dark Horse saddlebags from beneath. And so I am going to also do a stage one exhaust kit on this bike anyway, uh, which is a Ram air filter, a stage one exhaust which is basically a new muffler set and a tune and instead of doing that with chief pipes I will just do that with the chieftain pipes and then I can put the chieftain bags on and turn this into a big hard shell bagger for long trips and uh, have some nice big hard locking mount saddlebags the other cool thing about those saddlebags is they work with my electronic system so if my key fob is within range, the bags unlock. When I get out of range, they lock themselves back up. So that'll be a pretty darn cool feature to have if I can make that work with the Chief uh, electronic system. If for some reason I can't, I'll be fine with just unlocking them with a normal key. I mean, that's all I was expecting anyway. So in addition to a nice stage one performance kit, which is supposed to give me a little more torque and horsepower, and the hard locking saddlebags, I'm also going to do the uh, Springfield light bar, basically, in front. So as extra driving lights on either side of my front headlight. I'm also going to do a full passenger setup with passenger seat, passenger floorboards, and a sissy bar with a luggage rack on the back. And then on top of the sissy bar, we'll have a nice leather backrest on there so Miss Motoblade can enjoy riding on the back. And then, on top of all that, actually really before any of that, the top thing to get on my list after my little <coughs> incident with dropping the dark horse is going to be highway bars, front and rear. So I'm gonna have a nice set of mustache bars in the front that I can prop my feet up on when I want to, and a good set of highway bars in the rear. And then on top of all of that, my personal touch is going to be the Boss Audio System. I was talking with the mechanics at Indian today on how I can wire that in so it's not always draining my battery, how I would wire it into a uh, the ignition switch or a hot switch off of the battery. And they explained to me how I can do that and get all that set up so I'll have a thousand watts of audio which is way more than you would get on even like the Chieftain or Roadmaster stock with that big fairing and that whole system. And I'll have four speakers. I'll mount two to the front highway bars, two to the rear, and I will have surround sound. So let's recap there. Highway bars, seat, passenger setup, exhaust, bags. What else am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to replace the uh, chromed out 
pipes with the exhaust, that'll be a matte black. And then I'm going to replace these chrome uh, gas caps here with something matte black. Uh, just because it's not that I don't really like chrome. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but mainly the issue is keeping it clean. The matte black finishes are much easier to just wipe it clean and be done. Whereas when this stuff gets dirty or it gets specks on it and you try to wipe it, it streaks on the chrome. And I just don't like that sort of finish. I like the bike always being nice and clean and sleek looking. So that will be my next step there. The next thing I'm going to do is then put a chin spoiler on this thing. I cannot remember the name of the aftermarket company that makes it. But it looks pretty badass. Basically, it's a nice chin spoiler down the front with a mesh grill to protect my frame and the front side of my engine. And it looks pretty badass on the front of the uh, Indian Chief frame. In addition to all that, of course, I'm getting my mirror fixed. Uh, one of my old professors at the university who works in the shop. He will be able to weld that back on for me, the piece of cast aluminum that broke off, and get that taken care of for me, no problem whatsoever. And as far as the tank is concerned, where I got the scratches on there, I ordered a paint pen at Indian today. That'll be here soon, and they also ordered me a left side decal. And uh, when that comes in, I'll do the touch up with the paint pen, and then they will lay that vinyl decal on there for me. And the tank will basically be good as new. I'm not going to waste the money to repaint the entire thing or do a custom paint job at the moment. We're just going to see how a basic touch-up when relaying that decal goes because mainly the scratches were on the decal and less on the area of paint. So by just doing a little touch-up and relaying that decal on there, it should look pretty good to the naked eye unless you get super close. And I am fine with that for right now. I talked to the guys at the Indian dealer. I told them, you know, no hard feelings. It's not that I don't like your guys' work, but I do like to do my own work on my motorcycle as much as I can or as much as I know how to do. And it also gives me a chance to film it and provide some help and expertise for anyone out there like you guys who might want to do this to your own bike. So those videos will be coming up this fall, and I hope they help you guys out a lot. And it's going to be fun seeing how the whole bike turns out. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention, uh, it may look kind of cheesy, so we'll see how it goes, but I've seen guys who have bikes with like these little LED light strips they hide up underneath of the tank or around the frame, and so they can turn them on at night and change them different colors and whatever. So I'm going to see how I can do that tastefully and make sure I hide the LEDs really, really well so you can't see them from anywhere outside the bike. Maybe add a little extra mood lighting just to look cool going down the road. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this update video. Hearing about what my plan is going to be for the channel over the coming month or two here. And if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That's a big help for me. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. It's the big red button down there. It says subscribe on it. That's a huge, huge help for my channel, and I really appreciate it. Also, be sure to click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. That will let you guys know when I upload a new video. You'll get a notification on your phone or your computer or your email. I will spam your inbox to let you know that there is new great moto vlogging content there. Okay, so it's not spam, but still, click the bell icon. That will let you guys get notified when there's a new video ready and waiting for you. Talk to me down below what you guys think the best upgrades will be for this bike, what you guys are most looking forward to, and maybe something that I haven't thought about that you think might be a cool addition to the bike. I'm open to suggestions. I would love to hear what you guys have to think about uh, you know, what I should do to this bike to make it the most badass beast on the road. Until next time, y'all, be careful out there. Cagers are crazy. Ride safe. Ride on. And I will catch you all later. Deuces.